Hey guys, this is Ryan with the Paper Call Call Only course. Um, if you don't know what call only ads are, then jump earlier in this video series because I'm making a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to run these as an affiliate for affiliate networks, as well as selling leads to local businesses. Um, in this specific video, what we're going to go over is keyword research and setting up your first campaign. So at the very start of this, we're going to understand a little bit about what how Google works, Google Ads, and then we're going to go into match types. Um, this is something that you're going to need to know um, when it comes to setting up your campaign. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Simply put, Google displays relevant ads to people searching based on keyword phrases they used to search, the device they searched on, and what physical location they are searching from. There are other targeting options that Google allows for, but those are the main ones we're concerned with. Each website that is advertising is bidding a price they are willing to pay for a click. Where a website's ads shows up depends on what they're bidding, as well as a host of other factors such as ad quality. Ad quality refers to how relevant the text in your ad is to the search made, the amount of clicks the ad is getting, and the experience the user is having once they click through to the website. However, I don't want you to get caught up in all of this, so instead, let's focus for now on keywords. You can input keyword phrases into your Google AdWords campaigns to tell Google to show your ad when someone makes a relevant search. There are four different keyword phrases that tell Google in what situation to show your ads. Broad match keywords are what you are used to seeing. These are just normal keywords with no other symbols added to them. However, when you give Google a normal keyword like this, tree service companies, without adding anything to it, Google is going to show your ad for a ton of different variations, not just that exact phrase. In this situation, Google may show your ad to users searching for the following phrases. When's a good time to offer tree services? I need a company to remove a tree from my yard. Tree service companies. Best products to cut tree branches. As you can see, the top and the bottom phrases are indicative of someone who runs their own company, as well as someone looking for a product to buy both of which will likely lead to you paying for a useless click from someone uninterested in your services. For this reason, it's highly suggested to stay away from using broad match keyword phrases. Next, we have a broad match modified keyword, which is indicated with a plus symbol in front of the words. You can think of this plus sign as a lock. You are telling Google to only show your ads to people making searches that contain all of the words or their close variants. In this situation, Google may show your ad to users searching for the following phrases. Average service cost of a tree removal company. Tree cutting service companies near me. Tree service companies. Companies that offer tree services. Notice how the terms can be different in order, apart from one another, as well as have slightly different spelling. Also notice how these terms are much more likely to result in someone who needs your services clicking to your site. Further, there are phrase match keywords that are indicated by quotation marks. This keyword type will ensure Google only shows your ads to people whose searches contain the exact phrasing you provide. In this situation, Google may show your ad to users searching the following phrases. What are the best tree service companies? Tree service companies. I need a tree service company in Manchester, New Hampshire. Cost for tree service companies. Phrase match keywords not only lock in the keywords, but also lock in the order of the terms. Notice also how the terms can still be slight variants. Lastly, we have exact match terms which are surrounded by brackets. This tells Google to only show your ads for searches that match the exact words and phrasing you give it. In this situation, Google would only show your ads to people searching for the exact phrase, tree service companies. The next step is to gather keyword phrases that describe your services. We'll start with seed terms. You can think of a seed term as a broad category of terms. Seed terms would be tree cutting, tree trimming, tree pruning, tree removal, brush clearing, etc. Start by opening an Excel sheet or Google Sheet. Just start by labeling all the categories you can think of. I'll usually list these out horizontally to make the next process slightly easier. Then go through yours and competitors' websites and add in any seed terms you may have not yet added. Next we'll use a tool called Google Keyword Planner to get a whole list of keyword phrases to add to your sheet. In order to get full access to this tool, you'll have to sign up with Google AdWords. Then click the wrench in the top right corner and press the Keyword Planner tool. You'll be taken to a page that looks like this and you can plug in up to three keyword phrases in which Google will take and spit back a whole list of words that are related. 
you can change the location to the areas you service and this will give you accurate keyword search volumes for each term. Click the search volume column header and this will organize your words by most searched to least. Click the download option and export as a normal .csv. Now download this data to your Excel sheet if you're using Excel or go to Google Drive, right click and select upload. Then upload your CSV file, right click the file and select open with Google Sheets. I'll then delete all the data here except keywords and search volume. Then copy all the terms that have at least 10 searches and paste them into your other sheet. I'll then cut some of the terms and place them horizontally so it's easier to see them in one place. Now we're going to organize these keywords to prepare them for upload to a campaign. But first, it's extremely helpful to know ad groups and ads. This will give us the end goal and will help explain why we're structuring the key terms in the way we're about to do it. As mentioned at the very start of this video, your ads perform better if they're highly relevant to the search terms the user typed in. For this reason, we want to group closely related terms so that a single ad is super relative to what the searcher is looking for and uses the same terminology. Your keywords are what trigger off of a search and the ad group tells Google what ads to show the person searching. The more specific you can make each ad to the keywords in the ad group, the better your campaign will perform as a whole. Now simply organize your keywords into relevant groups based on the categories for your ads. Make sure only to take terms that make sense to your services and show some sort of intent of needing to hire you. Once all your groups are organized, create a new sheet tab at the bottom and copy paste your words into the column separated by a space. Name each ad group by the seed term and copy the phrase down. Delete all the spaces. Create three more tabs at the bottom. We're going to be making these terms into broad match modified, phrase, and exact match. Copy and paste your keyword column into the first tab like so. Then use the formula plus quotes plus quotes and F1 or whatever column that you're using to add a plus symbol to the front of your words. Copy this all the way down. Then do control F or command F on your Mac to open your find feature. Click the three dots advanced feature to open up the find and replace function. Click space once in the find field and then space and a plus mark in the replace field. Change the drop down to only this sheet then click replace all. Now copy and paste the normal keyword column again and paste them in this second sheet. Place a quotation on the left and a quotation on the right side of the column. Use the formula plus concatenate parentheses A1, B1, C1 to merge them together and drag this to the bottom. Repeat the process in the last tab but use brackets instead. Now copy your ad group name column and copy these next to each of your newly made columns. Then create a new sheet at the bottom Copy and paste each of your modified ad group columns to the new sheet. Make sure to right click, paste special, and do values only. Otherwise sheets will think you are trying to paste in some weird formula because of the symbols used in your terms. Now name your campaign. I name this tree services. If you plan on doing other services you can create separate campaigns. This way, let's say you also want to promote snow removal services, you'll be able to manage these keywords separately and turn one of them off while the other one is on, or allocate more or less money to either one. That's it for this keyword research video. The next one we're going to teach you how to upload all these keywords to a campaign using the Google AdWords Power Editor tool. If you're enjoying this content so far, make sure to upvote this video with a like and then also subscribe so you can get more content just like this based on lead generation. Um, if you are looking to collaborate with other marketers and local business owners, jump into our lead generation group which is linked in the description below and then I also have some free content for you linked down there as well. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers!